Holy fellas, that don't move me. Let's get real, real gone for a change. It's time to get real gone on the Rockabilly and Blues Radio Hour. Here's your host, James Riley. This is Jim and James Riley, your favorite hour for great music and interviews, the Rockabilly and Blues Radio Hour. Hey, coming up on the show today, Jack Torrey and Paige Burkham from the Cactus Blossoms. Nick Lowe is a really cool dude and really great songwriter, fantastic singer. We were intimidated and felt really lucky to open for him every night. So much more coming up from those gentlemen. Plus, later in the program, we hear a brand new track from the Hibbley Moon Explosion. Plus, also brand new from Villaninos and so much more. Now let's kick things off with, well, another new track. How about that? From the album Low Down Dog, it's the Frantic Rockers with Satisfy My Soul on the Rockabilly and Blues Radio Hour. This is Wendell Jones. And this is Quentin Jones from the Reach Around Rodeo Clowns. And you're listening to the Rockabilly and Blues Radio Hour with your host, Jammin' James Riley. All right.
That's the Reach Around Rodeo Clowns and their cover of Boomerang. I'm hoping to hear some more from the Reach Around Rodeo Clowns coming up this year, possibly. Uh, that was from the Lanark Records 52 Singles and 52 Weeks series, a cover of the Buzz and the Flyers tune from the early 80s. Coming up in the program, as promised, brand new from Hibbilly Moon Explosion. Also, Jack and Paige from the Cactus Blossoms will be joining us, talking about their latest project, You're Dreaming. Now, if you're a fan of the Shaken Pyramids in the 80s, then you want to check out a tune coming up in just about two minutes from a group called Villaninos, featuring Dave Duncan and Kenny McClellan, formerly of Shaken Pyramids. Their tune, Red Diesel Medicine, coming up in just a little bit. Uh, but first, uh, this one goes out to a listener uh, who contacted us recently. Uh, his name is Dale. Uh, sent me a message uh, after he discovered the show. Tell me his dad was rockabilly artist Frank Deaton of Frank Deaton and the Mad Lads fame. Well, this one's for you, Dale. Here's Frank Deaton and the Mad Lads with their cover of Don't Let Go, released on Target Records in 1960. Hear that whistle, it's ten o'clock Don't let go, don't let go oh, Come on baby, it's time to rock Don't let go, don't let go I'm so happy I got you here Don't let go, don't let go You keep me grinning from ear to ear Don't let go, don't let go Ooh, mm, this feeling's killing me Ah, oh, shucks well, I wouldn't stop for a million bucks but just hold me tight and don't let go Thunder, lightning, wind and rain Don't let go, don't let go I love is stopping inside my brain Don't let go, don't mm. let go I'm so eager, I'm a nearly time Don't let go, don't let go Are you been keeping your lips to mine? Don't let go, don't let go Ooh, mm. this feeling's killing me Oh, shucks Well, I won't stop for me on bucks just hold me tight and don't let go A hound dog barking upside the hill Don't let go, don't let go A love is dragging him through a meal Don't let go, don't let go If it wasn't for having you Don't let go, don't let go I'd be barking and hollering too Don't let go, don't let go Ooh-wee mm, This feeling's killing me Ah, oh, shucks I wouldn't stop for a million bucks I just hold me tight and don't let go One day, baby, you'll quit me Don't let go, don't let go I'll be crying and soaking wet Don't let go, don't let go For one thing, baby, I'll never stand Don't let go, don't let go Or you'll live to kiss some other man Don't let go, don't let go Ooh-wee mm, this feeling's killing me Ah, oh, Chuck mm, I would stop for a million bucks just hold me tight Just hold me tight Don't let go oh, Hold me tight Don't let go Don't let go
job on Monday Told the boss in my back My bones are great I need a line from the medicine man Or maybe just a bottle or two Maybe's on the left Crazy's on the right hand Where am I? Where am I? The mad dog gone Pining all along here I'll find a phone book And tear up my clothes Give me a red piece of medicine Shake my second street Long lost rockin' daddy That's me The lamp's gonna rattle The dress to be gone And shake Wow, the transformation looks see Cause I ain't the guy In the corner no more No more No, I ain't the guy In the corner no more It's the second annual Nashville Boogie Vintage Weekender. It's a Nashville Boogie, Boogie to the break of dawn. May 12th through the 15th at the Opryland Hotel in Nashville Palace. In Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. Musical guests include Reverend Horton Heath, the Queen of Rockabilly, Wanda Jackson, the Blasters, Hokie Lafarge, and over 30 more artists including Dale Watson, James Enfield, Slim Jim Phantom, Dibs Preston, Levi Dexter, the Planet Rockers, Marcel Bontempi, Big Sandy and his Fly Ride Boys, the Go-Getters, Rosie Flores, Woody Pines, Hillbilly Casino, Chris Casello, and lots more. More. And don't forget the Western Roundup Fashion Show by Riley Reed, the pinup pageant by Bernie Dexter, and the indoor pre-1972 car show, and the Sunday night grand finale party at the Grand Ole Opry featuring Chris Isaac. It's the Nashville Boogie Vintage Weekender. For tickets and information, go to NashvilleBoogie.com, and we'll see y'all here. Well, hey, it's uh, Jam and James Riley from the Rockabilly and Blues Radio Hour, and uh, very excited. Jack Torrey, Paige Burkham from the Cactus Blossoms on the phone with me. How are you guys doing? Hey, James, doing good. Hey, hey. Or should I call you Jammin'? Yeah, <laughs> I, I go by lots of different names. <laughs> Well, man, uh, you guys have just such a, a great natural and organic sound, reminiscent of some great times, but definitely with a, a very modern twist to it. And we'll dig into some of the tracks from your latest project, You're Dreaming, on Red House Records, uh, co-produced by J.D. McPherson. We'll talk about that as well. But let's go back and sort of uh, set the stage a little bit. Both of you guys from uh, Minneapolis area. Um, is, isn't that correct? Yes, yeah, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Cool. Now, what were some of the uh, early artists that uh, really kind of shaped your sound back then? Well, when we started playing music, we didn't sound like the people that we were listening to. <laughs> um, we were, you know, listening to like the Beatles and Beach Boys and uh, old blue stuff like Lightning Hopkins and all the way back to Charlie Patton and Robert Johnson and those famous fathers of early American blues music. Yeah, but we just we started singing folk songs and learning some obscure country songs and some well-known Hank Williams stuff and we just started playing whatever songs we wanted to and it all kind of bundled itself together into um, what we're doing now. You mentioned Beach Boys, you know, and I think about the brother harmony of Beach Boys, the brother harmony of Everly Brothers. Do you think being brothers just kind of gives you something different than maybe two random people? 